Okay guys, welcome back. So what we're going to do now is work on the front end, but before we do that, uh, I forgot something in our controllers here. This controller doesn't know what this is, so we're going to create a new file called application controller inside of our nested folders, and we're going to paste this into there. So go ahead and pause the video and uh, copy this in there. I'll put it in the, in the notes below in the description as well as... Um, that code snippet you need for the mime types just so you don't have to look this up but anyway we'll close all this what we can do now is work on our front end and um, I think we're gonna work with a boilerplate because it's just a lot easier to get up and running and we have to set up webpack etc etc so Bucky Roberts from the new Boston YouTube channel has a pretty good um, boilerplate already set up so we're gonna use his um, it's got the provider already set up and the store and all kinds of cool stuff so we don't have to deal with all that if you want to start from scratch that's fine but it's going to take you a bit longer the point of this video isn't of the series isn't really to learn webpack and react and, and redux but more to um, learn how to use those together with like a back-end api so let's clone this and we'll say git clone in our schmarticle directory i'm going to call it schmarticle front okay and before we run npm install, um, I got to talk about some schmarticle front, about a couple things that we are going to do to our package JSON because there's just some things we're not going to be using. Uh, we're not going to use Redux Thunk, but we'll just keep it in there. We'll use Redux Promise, so it's good that that's in there. But I'm going to take out React Dom and React and um, yeah, I'm going to take those out because we're going to use specific versions of them. And it's kind of it's kind of weird, but what I'm doing is I'm using Redux Form for this app, and I actually haven't, frankly, quite fr quite frankly, learned how to use the new Redux Form. So um, I've got to use an older version of React that that's compatible with the Redux Form version I'm familiar with. But whatever, it's not a big deal. We're just gonna go over to I've got some notes here, and we'll just take our versions that we need. We're also gonna need React Router, so. Let me just paste those in here. We'll put them right here. Okay, and we have Axios as well, as you can see, to make our requests. Okay, so we got React version 0.14.3, React DOM, same version, Redux form 4.1.3. Now, the newer versions 5 and 6 um, are a little different, so, and I haven't, I haven't quite learned them, so we're just going to use this one. And that should be it, so not a big deal. Now we'll run. Uh, npm install and this should only take a few seconds and it looks like it ran with no errors so let's go ahead and close this and we'll open up the way um, Bucky Roberts has it set up is everything is in dev so we're gonna basically I mean you can delete all the readmes in here um, this boilerplate was to basically explain how redux works so if you want we, you can delete them I'll do it whatever not a big deal. Yes, delete. Um, let's see. We're not going to have a bunch of these actions, so you know what? I'm going to. We'll just keep this for now. We're not going to use it though. Let's make a types file in our actions folder. And I'm just going to delete everything in containers because we're not going to be using these at all. And we'll just keep everything in our components folder. Our reducers. Let's delete these reducers. And let's set a default. Um, just pass through the state. So let's take that, and we'll say something like that. Okay, so it doesn't give us an error. Okay, that looks good. Let's delete these reducers. Index cool. Uh, we don't want to touch that. I guess the readmes you can leave them if you want. Whatever. That's good. That's good. Okay, looks like everything's pretty much done. App. Um, you know what? Let's make this into a uh, class component. And we're going to have to import component. And let's delete these. And we'll keep the styles in there. Why not? 
and we're going to need a render method. Whoops. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, I need parentheses here. Okay. Um, let's just get rid of all this. And we'll put a div in here. Okay. That's not bad. Let's just leave it like that for now. Do we have bootstrap in here just to make it look pretty? Um, I don't think so. Let's add bootstrap. Go ahead and copy that link from somewhere, the bootstrap CDN. And let's call this article. Oops. Okay, so let's see if this runs. We might get an error. I don't know. Syntax error. Unexpected token and app.js. Okay, let's go to app.js. What's it complaining about this? Is that what it's complaining about? Render. Something's not right. This, this doesn't belong. Okay. Is it still invalid? Hmm. Oh, I obviously need another one of these. Okay, let's see. Okay, bundle is valid. Cool. So let's go ahead and cut this video here. We got basically our boilerplate set up, so. See you in the next one where we're going to set up a React router and um, create our first action and uh, mess around with our reducer, etc., etc. So we'll see you there.